What it is, party people. Here we are playing some Slay Archer. We'll pop up a deck list right now so that you can see what I've got going on there. Feel free to pause the video during that. And uh, basically, this was my daily quest, so I thought that we would throw down with some Slay Archer. Uh, we are up against going second with Ring, of course. Supreme Alpha the Conqueror running a Mage deck. Um, mulligan almost literally everything. Uh, that's not terrible. <laughs> um, pulling Tazcad could have happened later in the game, I think. Uh, we're ranked number 1535, going up against an 1825. We're going to pop that ring and drop our what Thieves Guild recruit here. in the field lane. Got two Earthbone Spinners, so we got a lot of answers for stuff. I've uh, got to be sure not to use those too early on. An Archer's Gambit not really going to do much for us, so we'll probably skip our turn after hitting him in the face. And we're, we're playing this deck rather aggressively. All right, so they've got a Firebolt. They can't use it right now, but of course I got to imagine that they'll use it next turn, potentially. We're not going to play the Moonlight Werebat because of that. Um, let's see get him out of there but that's not really helpful uh silencing her doesn't really do much um I so we're gonna hit him in the face shadow. and we're just not we're gonna hope that he uses the fireball on them although with the cunning ally you've got to imagine that that's the trade that'll be made not the fireball um this of course is probably a control mage running ice bike interestingly Moonlight Werebat. I've got to imagine this Werebat's going to go down to the Firebolt right now. There it is. Probably should have put it in my hand, but what can you do with a Drunken Sailor? Um, let's go ahead and play the Fighter's if Guild I Recruit fall, over here. The and then Archer's Gambit, the cunning ally off the board. I scale the shadow. Just like that. Still only have two one power creatures on the board. They'll never outsmart um, me. She is getting earthboned next turn, definitely. Um, so we'll go ahead and earthbone. The forest will not suffer your presence. And I don't see any reason to Chaos take you. attack her. Why don't we go right into their face with him? Um, not giving them a card though. Next turn, we can play Child of Hercene, uh, which could be a solid move in the Shadow Lane. Uh, set up for maybe we'll pull an Unstoppable Rage. Cool Fire Blooming. The, I feel like that was a fairly decent trade, Earthbone, uh, without her silence, uh, to, the, uh, to, to trade out that 4-3. Um, so let's see, Child of Hercene here. This could get a little bit uh, tumultuous. Um, Earthbone Spinner does feel like a good play here. Um, then we could Giant Bat and Thieves Guild recruit into him. Although we should also get our Brotherhood Sanctuary out there as well before the, the Child of Hercene. The question is, do we care about the drain? Where do we play the Child of Hercene? I think... I think we play the child of her scene over here. Now, uh, if he's got a lightning bolt in hand, um, also, well, yeah, also um, a um, ice storm could cause problems. Those Your Imperial orders. Grunts not Your really orders. worrying me. Your orders. Your orders. That would have been just magic for child of her scene to go through, though. There's the crushing blow. So he is going to take out the child of her scene. Quicksilver Crossbow not really doing a ton for us right now. Um, Giant Bat also not doing a whole lot for us. Um, don't think they have a Firebolt back there. So I'm thinking Giant Bat in the field lane. Or I'm sorry, Moonlight Werebat in the field lane. As well as a Giant Bat for mana efficiency. Seems relatively reasonable. 
And we'll just go right into their face. With all these guys. Keep them right at 26. Got them beat on health. Relatively equal in hand. Trading a fair bit, about half of his four cost Imperial Grunts into my two cost Fighter's Guild recruit. That's not terrible. There goes that. Shall we begin? Where about? I hear and obey. Crystal Tower Crafter, probably going to we'll save that rapid shot. I'm I'm kind of thinking quick silver crossbow her before she gets out of hand. They could play a whole lot of actions. Nobody on board, of course, with a slay. Ascad not doing a ton for us. Um Let's increase our drain. Take her out. Go right into their face. My scales move in shadow. Um, and leave it there. I don't mind having two damage on the field. Slowly working them down. Uh, Tazcan will try to hold in our pocket for as long as possible. Ooh, this might be where he comes out, though, to take out that frost astronaut. Knocking Wamasu taking us out, so Tazcad feeling relatively solid here. No lethals, of course, on board. Could silence him. I mean, there's there's not a whole lot of reason to. Um feeling Tazcad here. And he'll, of course, I trade into him relatively in well. Uh, we won't give him the card. And we'll call it there. Slightly ahead on life, slightly ahead on board, although that's about to equalize. Uh, and just a little bit behind on hand. Believers shall flock to our noble cause. When you play in action, summon a random creature from your deck with the same cost. Um, so let's see if he plays a five cost action. Desperate con conjuring issues. So he's gonna get. Oh, that is not good. That is not good in the slightest. Stendar will protect me. I fly like the wind. That was quite literally one of the best things that they could have done. Now, unstoppable rage here on Tazcad is absolutely absolutely awesome we only have 13 health left um can we buff him at all not really no we can we can quicksilver crossbow get him to seven that's going to increase our total damage by four uh let's go ahead and take out one of these imperial grunts yeah and unstoppable uh let's go into their face let's hope for no prophecies no whammies and boom taking them down to two health they land a prophecy uh we do have archer's gambit of course nice nice move um Ooh, this is not a great situation. We can rapid shot. Yeah, we can we can get the damage down to five. Healing a rapid shot. In the, in the Durzog, of course, can take him out if he doesn't have an answer with a guard in that lane. Uh, the Battlefield Scrounger, of course, has got charged. So if he can't kill me this turn, or he can't get two guards, like a guard in each lane, then we should be in good shape. Could also, well, we can Archer's Gambit for one. He's he's really got to think out his turn here. This is where that uh, Rage Archer is an absolutely devastating combination. Tazcad raged. Man, the fury that must be going on on the other side. Me. Okay, not worried about that. 
Not worried about that. It's gonna do two damage to me with the fu fireball that hits um, the Durzog. I have a hard time believing they're not gonna play that fireball and go face. So that's seven damage. Oh, good game. They knew they were beat. I had that Battlefield Scrounger, of course. He was gonna cause some woes there. Got a couple of things. Jumped to Legend 1486. Not bad. I think something like 100 ranks. I can't quite remember. And we got 15 gold and an ancient lookout. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, folks. There you go. Slay Archer with a little bit of unstoppable rage. Let me know what you think about this deck in the comments and what I probably could have done better. I'm always open to feedback. Uh, and I, uh, I look forward to seeing you folks around. Thank you so much. If you liked what you saw, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Remember, I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jtgraphic. And I'll catch you folks on the flip side.